Hello folks, Neil here from I Will Always Love Video Games. Another week, another finds video. I don't have a whole lot this week, but I do have some interesting things, including one item that just came out of nowhere that I've been looking for for ages, and I came across a couple of items that I didn't know what they were at the time, but something told me to grab them and I'm glad I did. So without further ado, here's what I've got for you this week. First off, uh, there was a thrift store that I'd never been in, it's kind of tucked away, and something told me to stop in there, and I did, and I ended up grabbing this whole stack of PC games straight from them, and I ended up only paying a dollar a piece. They were selling them for anywhere between two to three dollars a piece, but because I grabbed such a big stack, the lady was very nice, and she just charged me a dollar a piece, so I can't complain with that. Uh, starting with... King's Quest, Mask of Eternity. I don't know what this is, but it just looked cool. The Messenger. I'm going to install this very quickly. Uh, it just looks really quite cool. Um, the Incredibles, when danger calls, because I love The Incredibles. This looked cool, too. Clan Destiny, an ancestral journey into your own fears. I grabbed this because I was looking at the back, and the characters look like... Something out of, like, um, 1990s, you know, LucasArts kind of point-and-click stuff. And it looked... It's probably humorous. So, it says from the makers of The 7th Guest and The 11th Hour. I've never heard of this, but for a dollar, I couldn't pass this up. I'm gonna check that out very soon. I don't know why. Mickey saves the day! I don't know. A great game. Theme Hospital. For a buck. Can't complain, that's even cheaper than GOG. He's back! Frogger! I don't know, it was a dollar. Mist 3 Exile. In great shape, complete. And then, a whole bunch of Sims games. You can never have enough Sims stuff. Uh, the Sims Live in Large expansion pack. No cover on that one. Sims 3 Making Magic. Sims Online. And a complete boxed copy of The Sims 2. I didn't have this. Oddly enough, I had the first Sims, and I had Sims 3 on a myriad of platforms, and uh, never had this. So for a dollar, I can't complain. Then I ended up going uh, a little bit further upstate and went to a Goodwill, because the last time I went there yielded some really good stuff. Uh, I had shared with you guys, like the Sonic and Knuckles collection I found. And I went back up there, and I came across... First, I came across a Greatest Hits copy of Tekken 3. Okay, not bad. It was $3. Then I came across these. They had a whole big row underneath the VHS tapes of these long boxes. And they were they said they were for the video information system, the Viz system. They had a ton of boxes. I only ended up grabbing two because I was on a tight budget that day. But um, I ended up grabbing Manhole from Activision. This is sealed. You can see the shine. And I don't know why, but um, I grabbed this one because it was the the box was in the best shape. Uh, and that's our house with Family Circus. It's also still sealed. Um, I ended up looking online, and apparently the video information system was a project um, by Tandy and Memorex, which is basically like an early CD-ROM, you know, education system. Picture something like a 3DO or something like that, um, but with, you know, educational titles. It, it bombed, and I, um, I went back to that Goodwill hoping to find the actual unit, and I couldn't find anything. But they still had a bunch more of these games, but uh, still sealed. I found these on eBay for like $30, $40 a piece, because apparently they're hard to come by, and uh, I just got lucky, I guess. So that was really quite cool. I went into another Goodwill, walked out with Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, for a dollar. And for five bucks, I ended up grabbing Shinobi for the 3DS. And it's complete. I mean, it's got the book and everything in there. I'm like, this is brand new. I'm really surprised that I got it for so cheap. Especially since I don't have a 3DS, so I'm going to have to find something to do with this. Okay. Then, I went into another thrift store. 
that was further upstate. And this... <laughs> I feel kind of bad for this, but, um... Uh, they had this Game Boy Advance SP case. As you can see, I left the sticker on there. Three dollars. It's in good shape, and I have a Game Boy Advance SP, so why not? Bought it without even opening it or anything like that. And inside... This. Somebody priced these and forgot to put them out on the floor, I guess. And even if they did, where do you see these prices? I left the stickers on purpose. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. And Pokemon Gold. And yes, I have tested it. The save feature still works. The battery's still in good shape. Both of these were... Three... Can't see that one. Three dollars a piece for these two titles. And they were stuffed inside of this Game Boy Advance SP case. <laughs> I really lucked out this week. Um, then I ended up going upstate to my new favorite store. Uh, I ended up giving myself a strict budget of 20 bucks because, you know, I've kind of been spending quite a bit. Um, and while I was there, I grabbed a couple of guides uh, and I ended up having to put stuff back because of something I came across. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the first thing I grabbed was Street Fighter 3, the official guide. Um, this was $5. And it's uh, in really good shape. It's in really good shape. And the artwork is still very crisp, very clear. Um, and I had also grabbed the Street Fighter Alpha guide but I had to put it back because of what I ended up coming across. And that was this. One of my favorite games of my childhood. I had it on the SNES and not the Genesis, but um, still one of my favorite, favorite Disney-related games. And that is Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse. And the reason I got this is because this was only 10 bucks. That in and of itself is really good, but the case is in pristine shape, in fantastic shape. And then I opened the sucker up, or I should say I had the person behind the counter open it up because I wanted to make sure about something. Everything in here is intact. The game is in fantastic shape, the manual's there, and the friggin' poster. The poster is still in there. You know how hard it is to come across a complete copy of this? Kids put these posters up. It doesn't even have any holes in it. This was $10, so I ended up having to put away the other guy I wanted because this little baby took priority. And the last couple of things I ended up grabbing are both from Goodwill. Uh, I grabbed this because it's not just video games, as you can tell. It's stuff related to video games. The Book of Games, Volume 2. This was $1. It's in great shape. Yeah, it's, you know, it's aged. Uh, it's from, like, I think 2004, 2005, something like that. No, 2007. Okay, whatever. Um, but it's a nice, full-color book, and the original retail price was $25. So for a buck, how could I, pa pa how could I pass that up? <laughs> I'm getting excited because I know what the last thing is I'm going to share. Um, then... I don't know why, but something told me to go look in the kids' books. The children's, little children's books. Uh, and the first thing I came across was this Ms. Pac-Man book, which is in good shape. It's a Golden Look Look book. And it was 50 cents. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, maybe. And two books behind that was the big one. I have been looking for this book for a long, long time. And to not only find this book, but to find it in good shape for the price I paid is astounding. I've seen the book by itself in mediocre shape start at like $20. Or I've seen it on Amazon for cheap, but you don't know what you're getting because there are no pictures. You're getting it through a reseller. And that is The Legend of Zelda Moblin's Magic Spear. Sadly, I went through the Goodwill, up and down, and I could not find the accompanying cassette. Uh, I don't even, uh, you know, 
I don't even know if they had it because this is the Golden Look Look Book Edition. I don't see the little icon for the cassette and book. So I don't know if this is the read-along copy, even though it's the same story. <sighs> man, I wish they had the cassette. If they had the cassette for this, man, oh man. Because you don't know how much I've been... I've been looking for this book. It's in, it's just wild. Um, and I ended up paying for this. 50 cents. 50 cents for one of the hardest to find, as far as I know, Legend of Zelda books from the heyday of the original game. I, I wish that they had the cassette. If someone out there knows how I can get the cassette, please let me know, because I'm still trying to find it. Oh, uh, but that, that made my entire trip to that Goodwill totally worthwhile. And if you're ever out and about, remember what I tell you guys. Make sure you have a couple extra bucks in your pocket, and if you see a Goodwill or a thrift shop or anything of that nature, stop in there and take a look around. And don't just check the games. Check the books. Check the board games. Check the whole store, because you never know what you'll find. Until next time, my name is Neil, and I will always love video games. I'll always cherish this book. <laughs> Have a good one.